And it, it, it's much bigger than this in the sense that um, all over the world, this climate change hoax um, with front people like Greta Thunberg, uh, who's just a, 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 a girl, a woman, who now, who um, hasn't got a clue um, about the world, she's just repeating the um, the party line that she's uh, told about. Um, this climate change hoax has been created specifically to justify a digital concentration camp dystopia. Because um, what they are saying and what they are planning, we're seeing it more and more. First of all, there's a war on uh, movement so that you are increasingly um, imprisoned in, in a smaller and smaller space. We saw this with the, um, the working from home and the, the social distancing and the lockdown in COVID. And so they're targeting, so for, first of all, chaos in the airline industry for longer movement, but in, in, in the daily movement, they're targeting cars, vehicles. Uh, and um, they are moving to electric vehicles and they're making sure that this is done by legislation. Uh, you can't make petrol vehicles after a certain time, etc., etc. But first of all, there's not enough resources in the world, anything like, to um, make the batteries on which electric cars depend. And thus, this is not about replacing petrol and diesel vehicles with electric. It's about vast, vast numbers of people in the world not having access to a car anymore. What they're also, so, so, so their movement is limited. And what they're doing again um, is creating uh, what they call 15 or 20 minute cities which are communities uh, that are um, imprisoned by cameras. Um, and, and if you go out of your allotted area, your allotted community, your 15 minute city, where they say uh, everything that you need, according to them, is within 15 minutes cycle ride or 15 minutes walk of your home, um, you create these sectors of people, um, then people say, well, okay, when they say you can't, first of all, they're saying you can't go out of your area um, more than certain times a month. Eventually, it will be you can't go out of your area without permission. And they police it by when you pass um, a camera policing these uh, cities, uh, you'll get fined. And people might say, well, okay, well, en masse, we won't pay the fine. So it will be unenforceable. That's true. But once you've got the digital currency, that fine will be taken out of your bank account as you cross the camera. And this is what happens in China. Uh, you can go jaywalking in China, and by the time you get home, the fine the fine's been taken from your account. And so, if you look at um, London and as, as an example, but it's happening all over um, the, um, the, the this country and, and other countries. They're in, they've introduced first of all these twenty mile an hour speed limit zones. And I, I went to speak uh, in, in that London area a few weeks ago. And so I entered this 20 minute uh, zone as I did in another city, Cardiff, the night before. And it's, it's like complete dystopia. You've got people driving in their car at 20 miles an hour, very slowly, on empty fricking roads. There's no one in front of them. But they're going at 20 mile an hour like automatons because they're frightened of getting fined because they'll get picked up by the camera. 
And then the mayor of London, a guy called Sadiq Khan, very sinister man, absolute cult gopher. He then introduces this whole ULES system, ultra low emission zone. So that um, if you have a vehicle that doesn't comply with the ultra low emissions uh, criteria, then you have to now pay £12.50 a day for driving your vehicle off your drive. Now, what this has done is two things. First of all, it's, it's, it's forcing increasingly large numbers of people out of their cars. And second, it's justifying cameras all over London to, um, and this will be the same everywhere, to police the ULES low emission zone. But those cameras are not only there for that. They're there to police the 15 minute cities and they are number plate cameras. So when you go outside of your 15 minute uh, limit and you pass one of those cameras, their number plate will reflect back to you and your account and your, the fine will be taken from it. Um, and this is the level of AI digital control that becomes possible once you have one means and one means alone of, um, of, of purchase.